Hey everybody, this is Zach with Terry's Natural Market. Today, or this for this video, we're going to be talking about pendulum boards. Uh, if you've ever dabbled in tarot or palm reading or even gone to a fortune teller, pendulum boards could be the next tool you could explore. The lesser known occult device is simply is simple to use and put together. Here's how to make your own. Uh, you can use any item you find, or you can buy one pre-made like these ones. Uh, you simply put yes, no, maybe, or rephrase. It's pretty easy to make, um, and it will actually find answers to all your burning questions. A pendulum board is often a small circular board that can be used in divination along with the pendulum itself. A typical board will have a yes, no, or unclear, sometimes maybe, or rephrase, such as these. A person will hold the pendulum still over the board and ask a question. And whichever word the pendulum swings over is the answer or swings towards. There is no scientific proof that the answer they provide are accurate. Many believe that the board works by helping users access their intuition or tapping into a deeper level of their subconscious. Many wonder how this differs from Ouija boards. The main distinction is Ouija boards is done as a group Pendulum can be done as an individual. The brief, uh, this is a, or that touches on a brief um, of what they are. Let's go over the how. Step one, set the scene. Before getting started, you should clear your mind. Focus on some centering activities and cleansing rituals. Uh, as with most um, divination, it's uh, better to have a clear mind. So maybe some meditation beforehand uh, or whatever the relaxation techniques you would utilize. Step two, asking your question. It is best to, answer, to ask a yes or no question for the pendulum board. Offer phrases like, can I or do I, rather than open-ended questions or phrasings like, should I. Avoid complicated or, un or nuanced questions. That is, that is for tarot cards. Example questions to ask, am I missing an opportunity if I pass up on blank? Or do I need to cut ties with so-and-so? Step three, using the pendulum board. Ask your straightforward question clearly and deliberately while holding the pendulum over the board. It will start to sway to whichever answer it lands on is the answer you are looking for. Unless, of course, you land on rephrase, then rephrase the question. So it simply works like this. Is this video going to be a good video? I'm just going to start swinging. And it looks like it's going to be yes. So once again, this is Zax from Terry's Natural Market. Uh, I'll be touching over some other divination products and more videos to follow. But uh, for right now, have a great day.